what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here um in this video i'm just going to be saying what i feel should happen in regards to the next halloween sequel in my honest opinion i firmly believe that they need to end this series with the next film they don't even in and in another thing i want to just say i don't even think they need to do another film halloween 2018 when i i don't know if i made this clear in any of my other videos in the past but I believe I have. I always stated at some point in one of my other videos regarding how Halloween 2018 would play out. I think I always made it made it clear that I wanted Halloween 2018 to end the series. I knew that was just wishful thinking. I knew they would try to do more sequels. But if they think they can get away with doing as many sequels as we've gotten in the past, I think they're just going to fall into the same traps and the same issues that all those sequels got as the series progressed. So it's best to just end the movie with this next film. And as far as like what they should do, so they're going to be encountering a lot of issues if they, if they try to do time jumps, if they try to do any of that weird stuff that the sequels try to do, don't do that. Michael Myers has, he's not, he's not like Jason and Freddy. He's not immortal. He can't always come back. Once he's dead, he's gone. He's not, he's not like that. Jason and Freddy, they always found a way to come back due to the means of which they were murdered and all this other stuff and they were treated like like zombies but we're going back to the roots with michael myers well jason was treated like a zombie but with michael myers we're going back to the roots and in order to do that you cannot treat him like he is some unkillable machine he has to have some sort of end game in mind you have to be making these movies with the idea that we have some sort of idea and where we want to end this as far as what should go on i think it's best to just pick it up in that same night have Lori strode have Lori strode and her family deal with michael myers again to avoid as much continuity issues as you can you should just continue the film in the same night pick it up right where halloween 2018 left off uh don't tease the audience the way rob zombies halloween 2 did and then set it a year later because then now you're gonna have to explain well why was he waiting for so long where was he uh and don't do don't do the coma and stuff we've already seen that before yes we've already seen them pick up in the same night before with halloween 2 from 1981 but that turned out quite well and it ended up being one of the better entries in the franchise you have to michael myers is not somebody who can just the character itself he seems grounded in something and you cannot just take him and just ex try to expand him over a long period of time when he just doesn't fit that that mold he needs to be killed off in the next sequel i think that halloween 3 because that's what i'm calling i'm calling it halloween 3 they may call it halloween 2 why they would do that i don't know why it's not halloween 2 halloween 2018 was halloween 2 uh this new movie should be called halloween 3 michael myers needs to die in this movie it needs to take place on the same night if you have it set on the same halloween night you don't have to worry about explaining anything you have you don't have to worry about encountering too many plot holes you don't have to worry about trying to make sense of why he waited for so long what was he doing you don't have to worry about any of that off-screen continuity errors that are going to arise in um certain fans minds or the people who care about stuff like that anyway because a lot of people don't care about a narrative making sense at the end of the day they just like to watch and enjoy it for what it is and that's fine uh, set it in the same night have it be focused on Lori and her family bring back uh some characters from the original films i don't know like a certain character could come back from the original film they can play a factor in the movie take michael myers have michael myers have like say his body never was found in that fire maybe Lori goes back to that house she, she sees that the uh, firefighters or whoever's putting the fire out, they never found Michael's body. So of course, it's still that night. Michael's still out here. Michael can go on a killing spree wherever Mike, wherever Jamie, Jamie Lee Curtis, Lori Strode, wherever her and her family end up, he can just follow them, ends up killing them. That, or they all band together to go take him out because I think it would be better if he didn't go after them because if he goes after them, I think that's going to come across as now he has a uh now he has a a motive again and the whole purpose was to take away from that aspect and go back to what it go back to the roots and michael myers he's not supposed to have a motive it's all grounded in him just doing unexplained acts so i think it's best if he doesn't go after them they need to go after him michael myers could just simply go back through haddonfield and just keep killing and then 
the movie itself, I think, should end either at the Myers house or at Smith's Grove Sanitarium. The reason I think it's probably going to end up in if they do decide to go that route, they might probably end it at Smith's Grove. Smith's Grove seems to be Michael's playing field. We've seen Michael Myers in Haddonfield enough. We've never seen him actually take on the whole entire Smith's Grove environment in one setting for a film. I think that's ultimately where the third Halloween film in this new timeline should end. Michael Myers needs to go to Smith's Grove. Laurie Strode needs to deal with him there. We get that one final epic battle. Michael Myers dies in the end. Laura Stroke can die too. They both can die. And then we have Allison and Karen left standing amongst the uh, amongst the carnage in the series on a high note. Don't try to expand this series into a mo multiple sequels. Do not try to do what they did in the past because the whole intent of what you did here was to erase all of those sequels. And then now you're going to say, oh, well, we can do it better. Don't, don't do that. Making all those sequels with, with a character like Michael Myers was a mistake i enjoy all of those sequels but i think halloween could have easily been a successful trilogy and now we have another chance to make it a successful trilogy and i think we need to capitalize on that make it a trilogy make the last make the next film be the last kill michael myers in the series on a high note and do not just don't just throw out sequels just because you're making so much money off of it because you'll get in the end you'll have so much more respect from fans because you didn't do that versus just giving in to their demands and then you end up making crap sequels in the end just like the other sequels that came out in the past that is my thoughts on what should happen with halloween 2018 and the, and the inevitable sequel that's going to come because it's going to happen they're going to have a sequel i think michael myers should die i think it should take place in that same night to avoid any plot holes or having to explain any of that crap that the other sequels had to explain such as where he was for so long or why he waited this long or why he always comes out on Halloween night just set it on the same Halloween night from the last film pick it up there have it end on November 1st early morning have it end at the Myers house or at Smith's Grove Sanitarium Smith's Grove Sanitarium sounds more ideal because that's where Michael has spent most of his life so give him that home field advantage on top of the fact that we know that he is a murderous a murdering machine in the series on a high note send Lori Strode off on a high note it doesn't even if she dies she can die she can die in glory michael myers can die in glory and the narrative as a whole can just come full circle and end where it all started even though that wasn't smith's grove but that's where michael has spent his entire life uh that's my opinion on what they should do for a sequel let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed and turn on post notifications in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know what movies you would like me to review in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video